All right, back again. Got more stuff done in here. Felt this little entryway. Uh, at first I thought it needed a desk and then I kind of gravitated toward a couple lockers on each side there. Because you got uh, entryway here, big door. This is like a... Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. View? There we go. So there she is. Earthrunner. Loaded up. Parachutes are loaded. Hydrogen is full. Got some ice. Um, and yeah, there should be enough to get the first base started. Aimed in the right direction here. Alright, say goodbye to the asteroid base and uh, onward bound to Earth base Alpha. Uh, turn off those thrusters, save the fuel. I just coast a good ways here. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to show a little more detail where the base is kind of between these peaks. This is where it spawned me. And that was in view of the asteroid base so I can make a laser connection with the laser antennas. Coming down right on top this time. Got uh, hydrogens down to 31. And I'm pretty much coming uh, right at it. Whoa! Good yank on those. Damn it, they're hung up again. So that's not a good uh, design, I guess, having it. What am I hitting wind? Or is that me doing that? Um, not a good design having those fronts so close like that. Where's that base at? Oh, we're pretty close. Doesn't quite look like... I'm not sure if... I'm sure all this stuff de got deleted too, unfortunately. That, was a, that wasn't too much work though. But I did get kind of a starter base going. See, I do believe I have auto lock on, right? Yep. Well, just landed on the back again, but everything survived, so that works. Where's the goddamn fucking thrusters? Oh, they're out. Hmm. This might take. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Power everything down, and... Or wait, does it still let me access the uh, inventory? Let's leave it powered up. Turn everything off I can here. Not sure if there's standby. I think there is standby power, so let's... Okay. Cool. Ship's upside down, but I can still get to the inventory. It has a uh, hydrogen hydrogen generator. So, boy, I should, probably should have brought some bottle some bottles with me for hydrogen. But oh well, I'll make an assembler. 
landscape building again. See, this is a pretty nice spot, I thought. It's got to build a tall antenna or something. So I can get a signal to that there asteroid base. Okay, the trick was turning off one of the front parachutes. Then it wasn't interfering with each other so bad. It was a little lopsided, but came down quite nice. And then I waited till the last few meters to turn on, or last maybe five meters to turn on the inertial dampeners to slow down the ship even more. And it was a pretty smooth landing. So, another good spot, right side up. Um, and I can... It's not too far away. I guess now, since that base has disappeared, I can really make the base just about anywhere here now. Uh, oh, look at that. And I'm just... Oh, awesome. I'm just in between this crack here, between these mountains. Yeah, look at that. I don't have to build up anymore. I'm just going to have to build a pretty tall tower to get over the the crest of the mountain, or whatever you call that, on, the, uh, on this spot over here. Pretty tall tower, so boom, that solves that problem. Freaking awesome. Okay, so I might just go ahead and build right here then. Just build kind of a right off the slope, digging into the side of the mountain here to hide things from the side. Grabbing everything I could, I guess. Anyway, I'll have to redo that. I'll come back. I'll start the stream or the uh, start the video over when I'm here with the base building again. I'll try and find this spot. I'll have to memorize the. If I, that's another thing that sucks if I reload. I'll have to try and memorize this surrounding area, which is gonna be hard. No, it won't, because I can remember the crosshairs. We got the mountain there. Or the peaks with the signals. So if I come to that spot, I will come down here and look for that. Why is there no north or south in this game? All right, second time in. And now that I know what I'm looking for, you can see that peak or that valley right there. I mean, between those two peaks. Um, and I got the asteroid base behind me. So I know I need to go right about there. Least get as close to it as possible. So I got quite a bit of hydrogen this time. I did really well saving it. Got all the parts I need. I stocked up really well on the girders and even got some extra motors and other stuff I thought I might want. So um, let's go ahead and change the view here. Let's uh, give it some up thrust because I'm drifting down. And I want to be right about there, I think. <laughs> Let's go ahead and deploy these shoots here. Shoots are out. You can see I got that one turned off. And boom, there they're grabbing. And then we are slowing down 40 meters a second, 35 meters a second. Get this view out so I can see what I'm doing here. And as far as I can tell, the trees aren't spawning in yet, so I can't really tell how off I am, but it looks like I am. Just a little bit. Let's see if I can go to the side here. Let's just pull it over. Oh, there's the two trees, I think. No, there's a bunch of trees I cannot even tell. Um, but I do think I need to go over here pretty good. At some point, I will turn the dampeners on and slow down even more. About 25 meters a second. Let's go ahead and turn these things on. Just come right down. I can't really tell exactly where I'm at. But, uh, yeah, so we got. Where's the valley here? Right there? Shit, yeah, so I'm probably way off. Um, that's okay, we brought lots of hydrogen. I'm not doing anything, just letting the dampeners slow the ship down and level off. It's 
took him out pretty quick. Heavy ship. Not enough up thrust in. Yep. Oh, that's fast. Oh, that's fast. Okay, let's see. Alright, that didn't take too long. Got all the resources moved up from the ship. Got a couple windmills built here, or a couple wind generators built. One was not enough. I could not run my refiner or my assembler. The refinery would work, but it was intermittent and it sounded really weird and caused everything to shut on and off when it was running. So, doubled it up. Got a mine built. I needed to dig up some stone so I could uh, harvest some trace resources to finish this battery. I did not bring enough power cells. But I did bring enough to get all of this here built. Storage container. There's a large storage container down here too, beneath it. Um, this was the first one, but uh, these run out of room quick, so I built a large one. Got that built so I can heal myself and respawn here, I believe. All right, got a few more of these. They're bringing in 1.65 megawatts, I believe, and it's got given me plenty to work with. Oh, hey everybody, welcome back. Let's uh, give you a rundown on what I've done so far here on the Earth uh, Alpha Station here, which is kind of a repeater um, Earth base, uh, personal Earth base. I don't know what to call it. It's um, it's got the connection to my asteroid base. Both the asteroid base and this um, Alpha base are my private areas. I'm going to make sure nobody finds them, or if they do, there's going to be some heavy defenses to deal with it. Um, I'm going to build and play the multiplayer off in the distance where um, the EC station began and is where all my GPS markings are for primary objective right now is just to load up on resources, get defenses up, and then I'm going to go over and put my time into the um, multiplayer area. So right now we got um, got a lower cave kind of digging out here. This is going to be like a lower garage area where I will build ships. I uh, started building this and then I remembered uh, about the projector. I'm still used to building um, the hard way. So I went up and built this on the projector. Got my miner back down here. Or I built a miner. Alright everybody, welcome back. We're up here at the asteroid base. I just went ahead and respawned after storing all my stuff. Um, and built another um, Earth Runner. This time made it look more like a Y ship, which is pretty cool. A little Star Trek y. I think you would call this uh, automatic build station or whatever. I have to manually put in a blueprint. Got a little thing here. Um, took me a little while to figure out how to get small grids onto the big grid to build with the small projector on the planet made it almost safe and sound um not too far from the base and only lost one cargo container that's coming down way too fast even with parachutes and thrusters slowing me down it was just way too much weight um but i didn't lose everything still had as far as i can tell all my steel and uh the components that were in there so I'm trying to empty this one I'm going to grind it off and then try and fly it over the rest of the way all right everybody welcome back it's been a little while long while well not too long I got a lot of work done though brought down another one of these dick ships um, and decided to just do a little update here it's humored by the fact that I could not Get this thing to land any other way it's just so heavy in the back and the parachutes even just having only one ejecting in the front still have this thing pointed straight up so anyway landed pretty hard crushed my uh, thruster assembly on the back busted off all four of my little ones the big one completely demolished There's some scrap left from it it is night time. I uh, am in a hurry to get things done. I am in loving this game. I got a lot of work to do. Big ol' I have made myself a big ol' ice station is what I've called it. Big giant mining drill crane. My first mining platform. I'm gonna take you over and show you that real quick. I am a little ways from the alpha base. 
We are all linked up with a laser. I made some uh, repeater stations. See one right there. This is actually just a waypoint because I've also been working on uh, autopilot and got a script downloaded to run in the programmable block that auto docks the ship. So I spent a good long while figuring out how to make it all work without the ship. Um, it would just kind of spin around in circles or do this bot wobbling thing or the way this area will be where I have the multiplayer base um, where everyone will build. I'm going to keep the alpha base a little more private. Um, we'll have some of my more trustworthy multiplayers will come over there. Um, but for right now, we'll build in this area. It's a beautiful area. Lots of ice. Need the ice for fuel. Uh, started out many different variations. I copied one guy's design off of a YouTube channel. Australian dude, but uh, the design wasn't uh, really working for me. He had engines on it to stabilize it, which worked at first really well the way I had it, but then I tried doing it another way. And Fuel low. I realized I just didn't like it, works fine without them. It's a little unstable, but Fuel I do add, critical. I add some gyros. You see, there's my old, this is my own design. It was three out from a center drill on all sides, making an X, but. Um, and it worked good, but it would take too deep of digs and would cause the rotation to stop. I have a rotor up on the top of this, so got here the, uh, I had to look up. I knew this would be the boom. Didn't know what this is called or what this, uh, forgot what that would be called, but yeah, I looked up some crane stuff because I was having some fun. I wanted to know what the proper name to call this stuff. It's all labeled right in the blocks or in the, uh, access panel, whatever you call that, the programming, uh, it's programmed with the right names. Um, this is uh, this would be the boom, so the boom pistons. I have the jib pistons, I did not know that. And then the hoist pistons. I have the jib, and they're all labeled right, and then I got it all programmed here. You see here, a big old tower of um, large cargo containers completely packed full of ice. Maybe not completely, I did add a few hydrogen engines. These things are awesome. They saved my ass. They helped me burn off some of this ice because I got so much I don't know what to do with it. Alright, one last thing to add into this here video. Got the turret trees built, painted, all camoed up. Looking pretty awesome actually. I like them. Should be some pretty good, uh, decent, uh, be some pretty decent defense here between these four trees they're all shut off right now so I'm not wasting ammo on the dog or the wolves as they run by I'm trying to